Welcome to Transform Your Life in 15 Minutes. My name is Pia McAdams and I am an author. I'm also an accounting professor and a certified life coach. I specialize in personal and small business finance and also fitness. I help people reach their goals and I want to welcome you um, and thank you for joining in this morning. I got something I want to say before I get started. Um, I scheduled the post. I used a new, um, a new app called Facebook Creator and in that app it allows you to schedule your upcoming live which is what I did. But when it got time for me to do the live, there was no button that says go live. It's just like join. So I just went ahead and started a new live. So if you're wondering what happened, I have no idea. Um, I'll try to figure it out and get it working um, hopefully sometime soon. But if not, no worries. We're on live. And thank you. This is a beautiful Monday morning. And this is a new month. We are already in the last month of the year. Can you believe it? Like seriously, where has the, where has the year gone by? Like just yesterday, I seriously, I remember what was ha what I was doing on, on New Year's Eve and, and, and now look, it's almost at the, it's almost the beginning of the next year. And so what a, what a convenient time for me to introduce to you what we're going to be doing for this next month. And it's actually going to be by um, Wayne, Dr. Wayne Dwyer, and it's 101 Ways to Transform Your Life. And I thought it was only ap appropriate, so as we're ending the last month of the year, and we're talking about transforming your life in 15 minutes, let's talk about specifically 101 ways that we can actually do that. All right, so before we get started, I just want to kind of go over that word transform for you. Uh, what does it tell me? My storage is almost full. Okay, I'm aware of that. All right, so transform. I want you to think in terms of form. Hold on a second. What's going on here? All right, there we go. All right, am I a little dark here? It looks like I'm dark, but I got my lighting on. All right, so when we think about form, we're thinking about like our physical form, like, you know, the boundaries that we experience. And if you think about trans, trans is like a prefix, right, that we put in in front of the word form, and it means to go beyond. So and think of terms of form like your body, right? So if you think of the words transform, we're going beyond the physical form of our body. So that's what we're talking about. And it's not something that's like involved or detailed or requires a lot of thought. As a matter of fact, I'm giving it to you in just 15 minutes, okay? And basically what we're going to be doing is five minute exercises, one each for your mind, your body, and your soul. And if you do that just 15 minutes a day, you're going to find that it makes a tremendous effect on your life. All right, so transform your life. Now, before I get started, what I think I'm going to do is going to probably give you three a day, okay? Maybe you know, about three. And there's a couple ways that you can approach this. You can actually just take one and just kind of meditate on it and, you know, throughout the day, starting in the morning, and then throughout the day, just kind of meditate and, and um, incorporate that in your life. Or you can do all three of them or two, okay? So you have choices. But I'm going to give you three ways to transform your life um, per day because there's 101 ways, right? We're not gonna get through all of them in the whole, the, the whole month, but we can get through the majority of them. So I wanna pick out three ways that you could transform your life. Again, it's up to you how you wanna do it. You can do it one, two, or three different ways. And before we get started, I kinda of want to, for those of you this is your first time watching me or listening to me live or watching the recording, of course I wanna thank you, but I wanna kinda of take you along the journey. Okay, and this journey has been where we uh, where we began. I think I started this maybe about, oh, don't get me lying, probably, I'll say back in April or May of this year where I actually started doing this Transform Your Life. And so what I've been doing up until this point is I've actually been taking you guys along the journey. And if you've been from with me from the very beginning, you kind of understand the journey. But if you're, just, if you're just now approaching or just now watching me, I kind of want to tell you where we've gone along in this journey. And I want you to also understand that all these sessions that I've been doing, all these re live recordings, are available on my YouTube channel. So just go to YouTube and then just search for me, Pia McAdams. You can find all the previous recording down for you. All right, but the first thing that we started doing is I started off with getting your mind, understanding you, getting you to understand the concept of what your mind is. Okay, so we read the book, Psycho-Cybernetics, um, and by Dr. Maxwell Maltz, and that was talking about your subconscious mind, okay? So your brain and how it works, basically your conscious and your subconscious. So I want you to get an understanding of how that affects you because what's happening is as a coach, I mentioned I was a coach, I come across a lot of people that want to experience goals. They want to make achievements, either physical, financial, relationship, it doesn't really matter. They just have goals that they want to achieve and they're so motivated and um, inspired to do this and then over a period of time, they start to decline and they didn't understand why. And so I want you to understand what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So we start off with psycho-cybernetics. 
And then we went on to the book that I wrote that's going to be released. And it's so, so close, guys. So, so close. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm gunning for the end of this year, but no later than the beginning, like maybe no more than January. But I'm going to say by the end of this year, I should have that book out and ready for you guys. Okay? So it's just right now in the publisher's hands, final editing, but it will be done. It's called Your Body, The Perfect Life, How to Find Your Balance, How to Find Your True Purpose and um, Achieve Balance in Your Life. So we talked about that. And what that book was about is an analogy of your body being your house, okay? Or I should say your body with your house. And so as your house has different rooms, your body has, you have different areas in your life. So for example, the living room was the financial area, the office was the spiritual, the kitchen was the physical, you have the left brain and right brain, which were the two bathrooms, and you have your relationships, uh, which is the, um, the bedroom. So we, um, in that book, I tell you how to clean up those areas. So we discussed that the second month. Then the third month, we talked about habits. And the habits is what's down deep. That's what's actually um, controlling what you're doing. So a lot of times we think it's willpower, and willpower will wane. Okay, it is a muscle, but it will wane. It really boils down to the habits. And again, we talked about that with psycho-cybernetics, but then we drove home with the seven habits of highly effective people by Dr. Stephen Covey. So that was the third month. Then we move on to the compound effect. And again, this was about, again, taking little small steps every single day. And again, this is like to transform your life, right? I want you to think of something involved. It's just the little things that you do consistent, consistently over time that's going to make a difference. And then we went on to eat that frog. And that's about taking, matter of fact, I have my frog right here. Keep it close. The big frog that you want to eat. This is the thing that you know you should be doing today. There's one thing that you know that you should do, but you're putting it off. You're going to, matter of fact, it's probably the first thing in your to-do list, but you're going to wait to the last minute. But it's the thing that's going to pretty much propel your day or propel your success, but you just keep putting it off for whatever reason. So we talked about the importance of eating that frog first. All right, and then we talked about who moved my cheese, and that was just like a little parable about how your approach changed, because remember, transformation involves change, and we tend to be creatures of habit. We like to have our routines, but if you want something different in life, you have to do something different, okay? So we talked about change with that little parable of who moved my cheese, and then that brings us to finally last month in November, we talked about Open Your Gifts, and this was a book that was just released by Kim Coles. And this was talking about gifts being an acronym, standing for gratitude, intentions, forgiveness, triumphs, and also self-love. All right, so this brings us to the 101 Ways to Transform Your Life by Dr. Dwayne Dwyer. So we're going to start off with the very first one, okay? And it's about beginning, okay? So in other words, it says, I'm going to read it for you. It says, you need to begin looking forward at who you are and why you are here instead of outward and physical word or anything in it. This is your sacred quest. Okay, so begin. Think in terms of what's going on. And to do that, we want to go internally. And you're going to notice that I'm, I'm a big advocate of going internal if I, as far as finding out what's wrong with you. Because I guarantee you guys, and this is via meditation, which is the third exercise that we're going to be doing. If you just take the time to go internal, I promise you, you will find the answers. Okay, now the second one is grow. It says, know that there is an invisible intelligence in everything. You have the power to make contact with this divine intelligence and create a life of bliss. Now, for me, that divine intelligence is God, but whoever it is that you want to call him or her, all right? But for me, it's God. And, and, and I get, like a lot of people tell me that they pray, right? And a lot of times, it, and prayer is good. I mean, I totally advocate prayer. I pray every single day. I pray several times a day. But just as important as praying, because when you ask God for what it is that you're asking for, you have to be willing to listen. And that's where meditation comes in, because it opens up your mind, it clears your mind in order for you to hear what it is that he has to say. And keep in mind, God speaks to you in, in different ways. It's not just going to be a voice. It could be, it could be any way. It can be you driving down the street and all of a sudden you had a question for God and then you see a billboard that has your answer on it. So he speaks to you in many, many ways, but you have to be open to hearing it, okay? And that involves you growing. So that's number two. And then number three is to draw your inner, your inner energy from the beauty that surrounds you. It says when you do so, this energy reception will become a source of strength and substance in your life, okay? So if you know this, with those three transformation things that you can do today, it all goes with going internal inside of you because guess what? All the answers that you need is going to be located inside. All right, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please share this information um, with your family and your friends. And now we're going to move on to the second exercise, which is going to be the yoga. 
And by the way, if this is your first time, I'll talk to you about it as, as I'm transitioning. If this is your first couple times watching me or your first time watching me, the three exercises that we're doing is mind, body, and soul. The mind session is giving you three different ways to transform your life. Now we move on to the body session. And this is where we're going to do some physical movement. We're going to just do a five-minute yoga routine that's going to design to help. Sorry, it's getting dark here. It's going to help you to um, get your body moving and, and flowing and to get in touch with your breath. And then immediately after that, we're going to do a meditation. And what I've been doing now, and I'll do until the end of the year, and I'll come out with the uh, new ones next year. I almost forgot here. Is we're doing a two-minute breathing um, meditation exercise. And this is designed for those that are beginning. Because what I realized is uh, five minutes is great. And, and, and I guarantee you, when you make it up to five minutes and you go beyond that, you'll see major differences in your life. But we always we have to start somewhere and at the beginning, right? And so two minutes is a great place to start. And so I talk with a lot of people say, P, I just can't meditate. I mean, I'm just, my mind is all over the place. And I just tell yourself, just give yourself two minutes. So when we get ready to do the meditation, it's just going to be a two-minute exercise. And I promise you, if you start off with that, then that will um, open up the gates for you to actually start doing longer meditations. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So I want you to meet me on the mat, and we're going to be doing, let's go ahead and start off, surprise, surprise, um, tabletop. By the way, I'm like, I'm all like, I just finished subbing the cycle class, so I'm like, kind of like out of there. <laughs> but uh, join me on the mat, and let's get started with yoga. Let's make sure you can actually see me. All right, so tabletop, you're on your hands and knees. Remember, these next two sessions, this is where I invite you to participate with me, okay? So meet me on the mat. wide, your palms are directly underneath your shoulders, and your knees are directly underneath your hips, your head's and neck extension of your spine. Once you draw your breath in, and as you exhale, once you drop your chin down to your chest, and once you round through the spine, tuck your tailbone under. As you inhale, your head and chest comes forward, belly button goes down toward the mat, press the shoulder blades and the armpits down toward the mat as well, and as you exhale, drop your chin down to your chest, and round through the spine, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale one more time, head and chest comes forward. This time as you exhale, want you to curl your toes under and take it to downward facing dog. Out of the cross the basana and start to pedal your legs. Now keeping your palms nice and flat, I want you to slowly walk your feet in toward your palms. And if you need to, keep your knees bent so that you keep your palms directly underneath your shoulder blades. And then I want you to slowly round yourself up, taking it one vertebrae at a time. Making sure that your head is the last to rise. We're going to come to Tadasana, which is mountain pose. So your feet are together or slightly hip distance apart or slight apart. Your chest is lifted, head is an actual extension of your spine. As we inhale, we're going to draw the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to dive the body forward. As you inhale, we're going to look up halfway. As you exhale, we're going to flatten out the palms. We're going to step back right left into the plank. As you continue exhaling, we're going to release your knee, your chest, and your chin. As we inhale, bring the body forward, upward facing dog, relax those shoulders, and then curl the toes under. Exhale the downward facing dog. Now let's go ahead and step forward, right, left. Inhale, take it all the way up. Arch back. Exhale, dive the body forward. Now look up halfway. Flatten up the palms, step back this time as left, right into the plank. As you continue exhaling, release your knee, chest, chin, or you can chat around the Dandasana. As we inhale, bring your body to upper facing dog, relax the shoulders, down away from your ears, and as you exhale, take it to downward facing dog. All right, let's go ahead and stay here for a couple deep breaths. And as we inhale, we're going to come up on top of our toes. And as we exhale, we're going to roll down to the balls of our feet, all the way down to the heels. Try to press them down. And do that again. As we inhale, come up on the top of our toes. And as we exhale, roll down to the balls of our feet, all the way down towards your heels. Try to get them down. Now let's go ahead and step forward. Put our right foot toward the fingertips. Turn that left foot in perpendicular and take it up to the warrior one. Of your Vibhadrasana A. As we inhale, straighten out the leg. Relax the shoulders. As we exhale. Bend the knee, draw the hips down. 
Now the tendency is going to be to open up your chest, but I want you to keep your chest forward. Press your hips down toward the mat. If there's too much strain and stress in your neck, feel free to bring your arms here at the heart center. Inhale and exhale. Relax the shoulders. Release the palms. Bring them down toward the mat. Take it back to downward facing dog. Now as you inhale, bend the knees down toward the mat, and as you exhale, straighten out the legs. Again, try to get those heels down toward the mat. Let's do that one more time. As you inhale, draw the knees down toward the mat, and as you exhale, straighten out the legs. Now this time we're going to bring the left foot forward toward the fingertips. Right foot comes in perpendicular, and take it up to warrior one. Again, as you inhale, straighten out the legs, relax the shoulders. And as you exhale, bend the knee, draw the hips down toward the mat. Try to keep your head in alignment with your biceps. Again, inhaling, straighten up the leg. And as you exhale, bend the knee. Try to keep that knee at 90 degrees. And you can keep those, the shoulder blade, the torso, over your hips. One more time, inhaling, straighten up the leg. And as you exhale, bend the knee, draw the hips down. Open up the palms, bow the body forward. And let's take it back to the out facing dog. Continue to breathe. And then I want you to slowly walk your feet in. Again, keep your palms down flat. Now let's go ahead and take your fingertips and clasp the other part of your elbows and forward fold them to use to nostril. Now let the crown of your head bring your body weight naturally forward. And as you inhale, just kind of hold your position. And as you exhale, surrender and release into the stretch. Lift the kneecaps to engage the quadriceps. All right, go ahead and release the fingertips down toward the mat. And then slowly round yourself up. Taking it one vertebrae at a time. We'll turn your shoulders down and back. As we inhale, we're going to draw the arms up overhead. As we exhale, we're going to dive the body forward. Place your palms down. Take your hands together at heart center, and then bow your head down to Malasana as we give some gratitude. And then go ahead and release your palms down to the mat. Take them behind you and slowly transition yourself into a comfortable seated position facing to the front. Making sure that you're on your sits bones and off the fleshy part of your bottom. All right, let's take the fingertips down towards the mat. As we inhale, we're going to draw the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, release the fingertips down toward the mat. One more time, nice deep breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more time, take a nice deep breath. Inhaling. This time, we're going to greet the palms together at the very top. As we exhale, Bring your palms down to the heart center, and we say, Namaste. All right, so thank you for taking the time to practice yoga with me. And this moves us on to the third and final exercise, which is going to be the meditation. And this is where we're going to be doing a two-minute meditation practice. And basically what you're going to be doing is this. You're going to be breathing normally as we first um, get ourselves centered, grounded, and aligned. You're going to then breathe normally as you would without manipulating your breath. And you're going to count your exhales. Okay, so as you're breathing, as you exhale, you're just gonna start counting starting with the number one. At any time um, as you're counting, if your mind becomes distracted by either outside noises or internal noises known as thoughts, you're going to first acknowledge the, the distraction and then you're going to refocus your attention back to your breath and begin counting again with the number one, okay? All right, so before we get started, let's go ahead and get ourselves centered, grounded, and aligned. Set your intention on what it is that you want to accomplish for this next two minutes. A good intention would be to focus on your breath for two minutes. All right, go ahead and take a nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose, and exhaling through your mouth. Again, take a nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose, and exhale into your mouth. 
One more time, nice deep breath. Inhale into your nose. This time as you exhale, go ahead and close your eyes. And begin your counting now. Go ahead and release, relax, return, refreshed, and calm. You've done something good for yourself today. I want to thank you for taking the time to meditate with me, and also thank you for taking your time to watch this transform yourself in 15 minutes. Guys, again, please share this information with your families and, and friends. And your word for today is spirited. I want you to have a Monday filled with high spirits, and I will see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Bye.